How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to go through a full body workout at Warhouse. So uh, we are currently five weeks out from summer shredding. So this is the prep series. Um, just chilling in my bed recording this for y'all. I'm going to go eat some rice and honey for a pre-workout carb up and then uh, I will see you guys in the car. But I have a feeling this is going to be a good video. I've actually uh, I've had a good day so far. Check-ins went great. I look sick. I'll probably post what I look right here. This is my book collection that I've been reading through. But um, anyways, uh, we look great. Really happy with how we look. And really excited to film this video. So stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in a bit. So just arrived at Warhouse. I was just jamming out, like music just hit. I, it's gonna be, it's gonna be such a good lift. I'm literally fired up for this lift because, like, I just feel really good. Check-ins were really good. I look really good. Like, pff, man. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hubba hubba. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be lit. I, uh, I think this is gonna be a really good workout. I think this is gonna be the best workout of prep. Um, so I'm super fired up for it. So we will see you inside.
Alrighty, so workout is finished. Holy cow, posing after is nuts, man. Nuts. I look crazy. Dude, like like five weeks out, we were like 35 days, I think, right? That's the right math. Holy cow. Like, I just, like, during the lift, and like, unless I have a refeed, like, I feel tiny and I feel small. But, like, then I pose under good lighting. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that like the video? Oh my gosh! Wow! He's like, oh my god! Wow! Like that is how I feel, dude. That is crazy. Nuts. Uh, so, anyways, um, we're out in like the middle of nowhere, basically. But uh, I'm gonna go to Half Price Books. I have an obsession with Half Price Books, and every time I go to Warhouse, I go to the one over here, which is really good. There's a lot of good stuff. Uh, so we're gonna go there. And yeah, um, hopefully we save some money, but I'll probably spend some money. We'll see, but uh, go and shop it. So I'll see you there. Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back. We're in my bed instead of the intimate setting of the cat bathroom. Um, I'm gonna just eat my breakfast and talk about the sort of trials and tribulations that I've been going through with prep. Um, pretty simple, pretty, uh, basic video um, might spout some motivational stuff or come up with certain things but uh, it's gonna be relatively chill lifted at warhouse lift was crazy um, but what happens is I, I'll film a lift and then I won't have the time to chat afterwards but I like the mixture of doing both so this is a few days ahead of the workout edit you just saw um, which is fine you know it's no big deal but I literally am filming another YouTube video today so it's been an enjoyable process, honestly, coming back to YouTube. Um, hopefully you don't mind me talking as I'm eating. Um, overnight oats for breakfast. I've been having this all prep. Uh, first meal post fasted cardio. Um, if I can fast, like if I can't and I have to go to work and I just can't swing it, I'll eat it before work. But uh, overnight oats with uh, blueberries and then I have a glass of almond milk over by David Goggins and my fidget spinner in my journal in the corner but uh yeah so anyways on to the topic um trials and tribulations of prep so I would say the beginning of prep was really hard um mentally I was not in a good place in, in a good place and the reason I had signed up for this prep was because I knew I just a gut feeling I was going to be in a very dark spot. I knew I was going to be in a very dark place and I was going to lose myself and lose my mind. Um, breakups, really fun. Anyways, so I was like, how can I prioritize myself? Like, what can I do to put myself in the best possible position um, moving forward? And I was like, well, last prep, I felt amazing. I looked great. I liked how I looked. I felt like my friendships were really, really good. I felt like I was good as a human being. And I was really on my purpose, like really pushing social media, pushing YouTube, just on the grind. And it felt like peak life to me. So I was like, I want to do that again. So signed up for prep back in December. This is when I mentally started prep. Now the registration had opened in January, so that was when I finally announced it, but I was already a month into prep. And so since December, we weighed in 151. So since December, I'm down 56 pounds. Half a year, I look like a completely different human being, which is pretty sick. Um, but, you know, I think I've come a long way mentally um, physically, emotionally, everything, um, through lots of journaling, therapy, YouTube videos, just work, like every single thing from this prep has kind of made me into who I am now. Um, and I'm very comfortable where I am emotionally, mentally, physically, everything. Um, things feel really good. So I think uh, a big process and a big part of this has been 
feeling my inner child through this prep too. This is my room behind this terrible tripod setup. I forgot my tripod at one of the gyms, so I buy a new one. So I have this like thing that's all stacked up. It's kind of funny. So I have all of the Vagabond mangas that I bought. I have like 10 of them. I think I'm missing two. I have them all lined up. And then I have all my games along the wall. And then I have uh, Legend of Zelda like Master Sword on the wall too. So I've kind of nerdified my room as well as two Final Fantasy posters that I've thrown in here. And then in front of my bed I have uh, my PlayStation, my Xbox, and my Switch, and my giant TV. And then on the wall over here I have a few statues of video game stuff, but like nerdy things. And I've fully embraced the nerd. And so that's really helped me. But, anyways, this was supposed to be about problems with prep. <laughs> I'm only talking about good things. So, problems. Um, time management. Each day, I have a finite amount of time I can allocate towards things. Because I have to do fast cardio for an hour. I obviously have to work. Um, which varies day to day how much work I have. And then I have, um, sorry, I want to get a thumbnail. I'm trying to like flex my abs a little bit. Uh, anyways, so I have work and then you tell my mind is all over the place. When I have a refeed, I'm bouncing off the walls and I had two refeeds two days in a row. My coach is crazy. Anyways, seriously, get on topic, David. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have to do fast cardio for an hour. Then I have to work. I can work from anywhere from one client, like yesterday I had one client, uh, to like nine in a row. And so like work can be one hour or nine hours, it just depends on the day. Today I have nobody, so I have time to film and edit a YouTube video and film another YouTube video, so that's what I'm doing right now. Anyways, then I have to get 10,000 steps, which for those of you who don't know, 10,000 steps is five miles. Each mile takes about 20 minutes. You're looking at about an hour and a half extra of cardio. So now we're at two and a half hours of cardio. Then I have to lift. When lifting, depending on the gym that I go to, I will yap my head off and talk too much. So my lifts usually take anywhere from <laughs> like two hours to three hours to sometimes four, which is really bad. And I know it's not productive, but um, that's like, that's just for prep. And then it's like cooking. Oh my God, cooking. I'm cooking every other day. Uh, you know, eating, eating. I got to eat like five meals a day. So eating and then sleep. And like sleep is a big priority, especially the closer I get to the show. Um, I'm just getting to this point where like sleep is really important. I can't just like just go around and get like six hours, five hours of sleep. Um, so Notice how I didn't say anything about free time or time with friends or time with family. I have no time. <laughs> I have no time unless I have a day off. And like the thing is like, I'll get a day off like a Tuesday. None of my friends have work off on a Tuesday. So to me, like social, social life is taking a hit, um, which is, you know, it's just par for the course. Um, I just know that once prep is over, I'll definitely be able to socialize right now. It's just this phase of my life right now. I've just got to be alone, you know, um, which honestly has helped me a lot with this sort of healing process as crazy as it is. I felt very alone, um, for quite some time and I just gave it time, focused and poured in myself, filled my cup and I've been able to really, really allocate a lot of energy and effort into me. Uh, which I think has helped me a lot mentally. So I honestly, at first, and you know, I'll get frustrated about not hanging out with friends or not being able to socialize and just my friend group, just kind of not hanging out with each other. But it gives me more time for myself and more time to game and do nerdy stuff and focus on this prep. So like this prep, I can give everything. So I would say that is, it's a negative and a positive. Like I've learned how to mentally twist anything into a positive, even from the negative stuff, which is awesome because I have a very pessimistic side to me, but I try and be optimistic at all times. And I'm really embracing that of like understanding certain things just suck and that's how it is. And 
we can still be positive about it. So that's what I've been doing as far as um, that sort of problem goes. Sorry if it keeps cutting. I keep on checking to see if it's filming because I know I'm running out of space. So anyways, um, that's been going good. But everything else, like, has been smooth sailing. I mean, work is all right. My clients are cool. I don't have a lot. I'm not making too much money, but I also don't have any crazy bills to save. So I just, I'm just saving money. So, um, really, I mean, the only negatives that have definitely affected me, obviously going into prep emotionally, mentally, and I still get emotional. I still get in my head. Um, I'm not pursuing anything like romantic at all. Um, I don't have the, the emotional availability for that and I'm still working on my, you know, sort of process through that. But, um, aside from that, like social life is taking a hit, you know, your social life will take a hit just because of the time management and it all matters in how much you care about the prep. If you're doing the prep for you and you just want to go out there and do whatever, like that's fine. Um, but this show, I really want to, I want to like place, I want to win. I want to do everything. So I'm doing everything I can. Like my new coach is amazing. Um, he's awesome. Coach James Mack, I'll put his Instagram right here, but, um, you know, I would say there's a way to spin anything into a positive, like no matter how bad it gets, no matter how negative it is, there's always a way to like, look at it accept that it sucks and then find the positive in it. And I think that being able to do that is probably the best development or gain that I've gotten from this is like understanding that certain things will suck and certain things will not be fun. They'll not be good. They'll not be cool. You know, <laughs> just they suck. And so you just look at it and go, well, that sucks. But like, I'm not going to let that change my perspective or change how I feel or affect my day-to-day -day life. Like it is what it is. It's just a part of the process, you know, it's a part of the part of the process, part of the course. And let's just do some positive shit. Let's do some good shit. And I think that, you know, that's the, the mindset going into this is like, there's certain things that are completely out of my control, like completely, I'm unable to do anything about it. Like it's just, it's just, it is what it is. It just is, you know, it's, it's not even a positive or negative thing. I'm just, my perception of it is it's a negative thing. So I'm like, well, if I can just have a perception that's negative about it, I can also just have a perception that's positive about it. And I know sometimes it doesn't work like that, but you can definitely trick yourself or convince yourself or work your mind in a specific way that you can look at things that way. And that's what I've, I've definitely gained from this is like, I can have certain situations that upset me or, you know, are disappointing. And I'm just like, well, it is what it is, man. Like there's, there's better things out there. There's more to life, you know, there's just, there's more reasons to keep going and keep being positive and smiling and chasing what I got. You know, I feel very full right now and I feel like I have lots to give, which is good. Um, so I'm just really happy with YouTube and with filming and with posting and this prep. It's crazy. I mean, it's like, man, if I could see myself six months ago, like if December me could look at me now, I think you'd be really proud and really happy, but he would be surprised because dude, I thought my life was over, man. It, it was, uh, still is, but it was probably the lowest point of my life, to be honest. Um, I don't think I've ever reached a lower point. I mean, I did when I was 19, I was pretty low. I would say that was when I was 231 pounds, but like, dude, I got up to like 207. Like I got, I was like 20 pounds away from the heaviest I'd ever been. And mentally I wasn't far off from where I was there, but I, I, I ended up reaching way lower. So, um, I'm so glad that I signed up for prep and just have been focusing on me. And, you know, it's a really deep way to end a YouTube video. Uh, <laughs> but like, to be honest, like, that's really all I have to say. Like, you know, there's, there's some things that suck and they just suck. And it is what it is, man. Like you, life goes on. We carry on. We're still 
pushing forward. And I think my my viewpoint on this prep, like how I've approached it, has allowed me to excel and succeed the way that I have. And I do think I am excelling and succeeding with this prep. I think I look crazy. I think I look sick. Uh, and I'm pretty content with how I am mentally too. So, you know, there's certain things that I feel like I lack and that I'm missing and I'll go get them. But for now, it's like, I just got to focus on this prep and do me, man. Like it's, that's just it, you know? So I didn't even eat my breakfast. I just started yapping away. It's how I work. Um, I usually will read Vagabond or some manga while I eat. Um, but I figured I would film the video and just kind of chat with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed me talking and reflecting. I enjoyed that. That felt like therapy to me. Like literally that just like that little talk and everything like that felt really good. So I today, as far as today goes, um, I got a big day today, so I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm going to film another YouTube video right after this. So there's going to be another video already coming on the way when you're watching this. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, comment, share. And, you know, your support is the reason I'm doing so well. You know, like, eat, like you, whoever you are. Not a lot of people tell me if they watch my videos, but if you do watch them, like, please post it, like, on your story. Be like, watch a baby soul. Like, I love that. And I love reposting that. Because, like, for me, for somebody to watch a 20-minute video that I whip up, that is, like, the most awesome thing. Like, the most fulfilling thing ever. So, um, I'm going to keep doing this because I really enjoy it. And I have hope for our future. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you. You're loved. Um, whenever you're watching this, have a great day or night. And as always, have yourselves a damn good one.